Good morning, dear audience. Um, in the next uh, few minutes, I would like to talk about my PhD then, investigation of executive function in cerebral palsy and uh, the progress of my researches. My name is Nora Zimonyi. I'm a conductor and PhD student, uh, and I work at uh, András Pető um, practicing primary school. My vision is that in the future, I would like to live in a world in which citizens with CP are a productive and integral part of society. Uh, I'm a conductor, therefore I would like to develop the skills of uh, patients living with CP. I'm fully committed to a more tar targeted development program for people with CP that could uh, improve their quality of life. Uh, I am currently working on two projects uh, in order to get to know uh, the executive functions of uh, people uh, with uh, cerebral palsy. You can see the first project title, uh, which I will present below. Uh, why do we want, why is it important to uh, examine the executive functions in this uh, population? Children with cerebral palsy may have uh, problems with movement, walking, uh, difficulty speaking, uh, learning difficulties, and cognitive impairment. But we don't know much about their executive functions. However, these are important for the school and life success. Therefore, the aim is to examine the executive functions of people with cerebral palsy. First of all, let me tell a few words about uh, uh, executive functions. These are a set of mental skills that uh, include working memory, inhibitory control, and cognitive flexibility. Working memory, which allows information and talks to uh, uh, be kept in our minds and uh, manipulated with them. Inhibitory control, which uh, means uh, uh, includes self-control, inhibition of, uh, of unwanted behavior, and selective attention. Cognitive flexibility, which means that we, we can solve a problem uh, in several ways. Uh, we are able to quickly switch between our um, mental sets and strategies. We use these skills every day to learn, work, and manage daily life. Trouble with uh, uh, executive functions can make it hard to focus, uh, file of direction and hand emotion and among other things. Uh, you can see our clinical questionable and we have two hypotheses. We compared the executive functions uh, test results between cerebral palsy and typically developing uh, population. And the selection is uh, done. Uh, finally, 14 articles um, have been selected. You can see the overall results of the executive functions. The articles use different uh, tests and these tests move on different scales. Therefore, we didn't use raw mean difference, uh, but we used standardized mean difference. The results are on one side, uh, and if you look at the heterogeneity, we see that it's a bit heterogeneous. The results um, show that the CPs people have disadvantage of uh, executive functions compared to their typically developing peers. We got significant results, and if we uh, read the articles, we can see that uh, the difference uh, are not just statistically, but clinically as well. We also weave the results on the uh, components. Uh, now we can see the results of one of the executive function components, namely working memory. Similarly to the overall functions, uh, the results are on the left side, but the results of the articles are uh, more um, homogeneous. If you look at the standardized mean difference, it shows us that the CP population has a disadvantage in this component, uh, which is uh, significant. If you look at the results of the inhibitory control, they are very similar to the ones as uh, in the working memory. The results are also in the left side and the results of the articles are heterogeneous. The standardized mean uh, difference is also uh, significant, which means uh, the CP population also had a disadvantage uh, in this uh, component. Uh, regarding cognitive flexibility, the results are a little bit different because the results of the articles are on uh, the left side, uh, but the articles are homogeneous. 
about the strengths and limitations, because we are uh, collected enough articles, we, are, uh, we were uh, also able to examine the components of the executive functions. There are more articles about children than adults. For uh, children, um, there were enough articles to generalize the, the findings. However, for adults, uh, the limited number of uh, articles make generaliza generalization um, difficult. And also limitations, uh, the difference uh, test measured the same expect, and so we performed uh, standardization. As we assume the cerebral palsy people have disadvantage in the performance of their executive function compared to, the, um, to their typically developing peers. So it is uh, very important that we build in this into their development uh, program. It would be useful to do researches in the future to uh, examine uh, the effectiveness of uh, development, development programs. Uh, I finished the manuscript as, uh, and sent it for internal review. The plan submission dates is um, January. The second project would be uh, to analyze and uh, publish the results of a research. This research was made some years uh, before. It's a descriptive cross-sectional study about uh, the executive functions in two groups, children with CP and typically developing uh, children we have the necessary approvals. On the CP group, the inclusion criteria was uh, the diagnosis of uh, cerebral palsy with ICD code. Exclusion criteria was if the child had been uh, diagnosed with uh, any um, psychological uh, disorder and epilepsy. The control group uh, matched uh, to the CP sample by age and gender. And they were uh, typically uh, developing children, while exclusion criteria, criteria was similar than in the cerebral palsy group. Uh, we used this test you can see above. Uh, we couldn't take every test with uh, everyone. The highlighted number showed um, the final number uh, of participants. Uh, for example, we uh, didn't take the Stroop test uh, with the, uh, children who couldn't read well. So we had uh, 54 uh, participants. There were, uh, uh, there were children who started taking uh, the test but dropped out because we found uh, some problem during the process. <coughs> the two figures show that uh, the age and gender uh, matching were fine in the two groups. Uh, we have uh, preliminary results, although these have yet to be interpreted. We will soon get the final results for this uh, project uh, as well. During, I can continue uh, writing the second uh, article. So yes, I started writing the manuscript, which I will continue. And uh, in uh, January, we need a discussion with the, uh, with the statisticians about the, the results. Uh, what are the strengths and limitations of uh, this research? And the sample size is uh, a la uh, larger about twice as much than uh, previous um, researches, even if we couldn't take all tests with uh, everyone. This study contains uh, seven tests, and also most uh, articles use uh, three, four um, tests. For the more, uh, this is the first study um, what uh, comprehensively uh, examined the cerebral palsy population. Uh, it is a non multisense study because a special requirement was needed uh, to measure performance. The planned submission dates are January and, uh, and March. I would like to close my presentation with this code below because it is completely in line with conductive ed education, my vocation, and every child means every child, including kids with cerebral palsy. Thank you for your kind attention. You're welcome to ask any question or comments. I have one question regarding your second project. Why did you exclude patients with psychological problems? 
Yes, thank you for your question. Um, because um, um, the um, psycholo psychological uh, disorders uh, is, um, if anybody, anybody has a um, psychological disorder, uh, it's, it's mean that um, maybe um, your um, executive functions is, uh, is, um, is not, um, it's, um, it's not too good. So is, is this the answer for, for your question? Just some technical uh, question, a practical question. Uh, as I know, you, you're also working in a practice. So um, PETO method as a holistic approach uh, somehow targeted uh, the, the, the executive functions of the, of the CP patients, or do you using any tools or techniques uh, during your, your uh, practice? Uh -huh. Yes, thank you for your question. Um, when I um, read the literature, I found some uh, um, targeted program um, for the um, executive functions. Um, for example, uh, the mindfulness programs or, or uh, um, some uh, targeted program with a computer uh, or yoga or fighting sports. But the, not the all is good for cerebral palsy uh, children. So we have to find the best way, the best methods for cerebral palsy uh, children. Mm, in this, uh, I think, the, for example, the mindfulness is, is, is uh, closer to the conductive pedagogy and the uh, pedo methods. And uh, we have to uh, try, uh, this is the next step, which is the best method for the for the for we improve their uh, executive functions. As I remember, the proportion of um, the CP population and uh, the control group, the typically developing uh, children group, was not so balanced. Do you know the reason behind this? Yes. Thank you for your question. Uh, actually, uh, the uh, the truth is that uh, we got uh, the the special uh, um, test software and the special. Um, panel uh, tools uh, which uh, needed for the researches uh, for free if uh, we performed a few uh, tests uh, um, on a minimum 100 typically developing uh, children. Uh, so it was a win-win solution for us, for the company and for, for the research team. I haven't seen any subgroup analysis on your forest plots. If I remember well, I and I was wondering, like previously Mark said and mentioned that uh, CP have, uh, has uh, different severity levels and different presentations. Did you make any subgroup analysis about this or any other factors which can be influential to your results? Yes, thank you for your question. Uh, yes, we did uh, some subgroup analysis, for example, about uh, age, gender, um, gross motor fraction, classification system. Um, uh, and uh, if I have to uh, highlight one of these, uh, uh, in the studies uh, where matching was uh, reported, uh, the difference was uh, significantly uh, smaller than in studies Re uh, reporting no matching, ma matching, so it's a highlight uh, recommended for the future researches. Just for the curiosity, why did you only include children from the age of seven to seventeen? Why not younger, for example? <laughs> Is there any specific reason for that? Uh, yes, thank you for your question. Uh, because uh, uh, the CP population is a uh, uh, a little, little population of, uh, um, of the, of the big, uh, big population, uh, and uh, it's not too easy to require the, uh, them. And uh, because I work at the um, Andras Petri Practicing Primary School, uh, it was the best uh, solution uh, when I can um, require 
this uh, number, the 51 uh, um, students, it's, it's a big uh, um, number. And, uh, and yes, maybe the next step we, we examine the early childhood, um, um, yes, in this population.